Oh, it is good to be back in Minecraft. Or should I say, Jelly's Minecraft World. That's right, we hacked into Jelly's Minecraft World and we made ourselves at home. Oh yeah, and Craner's here. I always forget about Craner. If you're new here, this series is fueled by your likes. It's pretty simple. As long as we hit 100,000 likes on this video, I'll upload another one. And today is a special episode because I am going to be trolling Jelly. Hi, Jelly. Well, uh, hi, Jelly's base thing. Before we get into that, though, and exactly what we're going to be doing, um, what is this? This house holds no official awards on the Jelly MC world. Some of you might remember, I gave my house a reward. Go. Most beautiful house in Jelly's Minecraft World Award 2021. So someone's removed it, and just as I expected. Hi, Josh. If you have my diamonds, please give them back. I'm guessing this is Craner, because he spam signs everywhere. So yeah, my diamonds did get stolen from my secret chest. And then we did steal some diamonds back, which I hid in my furnace, which I hope are still, yes. I was supposed to hide those at the end of the video last time, but I forgot. But hey, if they work in there, that's fine. Let me get rid of these though. Uh, there we go. And we'll get rid of that. Now what's going on over here? Kroner appears to have a house and he didn't have one last time. Welcome home. Mr. Smart Person, thank you for your diamonds. Here's a new house. Pay me more diamonds. So it looks like Craner has paid a builder to build him his house, I guess. This is a uh, weird. Okay, he's got a bed. Where is his stuff? Where are his chests? Where does he store things? Has he got like a secret storage somewhere? Hmm. He has these, which I guess sort of count. Oh, here it is. Here's one. He's got some bedside storage. I don't know where he's keeping all of his stuff. That's very suspicious to me. Anyway, is there anything else that's changed over here? Doesn't look like it. New Cowtown. Still doing new Cowtown things, I guess. Well, okay, I guess so. Without further ado, let's get into the troll. So in the last episode, we found Jelly's secret TNT cannon. Oh no, Jelly was planning to shoot a TNT cannon at me. And as you can see, it is aimed directly at my house. And it did appear that he had also used the TNT cannon to blow up Cranus. Well, assuming it's still here. Yes, it is. Nice. We are going to be using this cannon to get Jelly to blow up his own base. So basically the way this thing works is you place a TNT like here, I think, and then you click a button and that eventually sets off the TNT and makes it fly. But what we're going to be doing is building a tunnel under this thing that is connected to the redstone yeah. and will end up blowing up Jelly Space instead. So I guess we got to get going with the, the tunnel digging. Um, okay, yeah, actually... We'll, we'll dig a tunnel three deep like this. Oh, no, because then I'm going to be breaking stuff. Okay, we can cover it up. And this lets us see exactly where we're placing it. Because we're going to want to place, like, a block of TNT under his little house thing. Probably, like, here works. There's, like, a tunnel there. Block that off. And then we'll kind of want to go through it as well. Okay, so this is um, going to go into the pathway here. But that's fine. Uh, oh, okay. This is his underground thing. Hmm. Do I guess we could, like, go into it. I just really hope that he isn't in here at the beginning. Okay, that works. First of all, I'm going to disable, well, remove that TNT on the cannon because that would be bad. So let's get rid of that. There we go. All right, so let's begin. I'm just going to start by placing the, the uh, redstone down. Okay, I'm going to put a torch there so we can keep track of the signal. And then we just go down here. Nice. Okay, so one would be there. We'll be placing TNT like, like as a part of this thing. But for now, we're just setting up the actual redstone signal. We'll have one there to get down. And then I guess we'll just have some TNT in here just to blow this thing up. Oh yeah, we'll blow this up as well because this killed me one time. That was really sad. Okay, this is probably one of the most destructive trolls that I've done yet. And I don't even feel bad about it at all. Huh. Wait, he changed this. This used to be different. All right, what else should we blow up? I guess we'll blow up his bedroom. Didn't like his bedroom anyway. There we go. And finally, we can put some by his chests. Okay, that kind of works for down here. We do kind of need to blow up some more of the top, though. At the very least, we just need to blow up that tower over there. Oh, we can't. Mm, okay, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. We have to kind of go up here. We're literally going to go straight under this pathway. That's uh, that's a bit dangerous. I really hope that we can clean this up and make it look the same. 
Otherwise, he's going to be very suspicious if things are out of place. Okay, nearly at the tower. And then we just go in. All right, there we go. So let's get the redstone place here. This one isn't as deep, so hopefully this doesn't get damaged somehow. Okay, redstone. I think we've got enough repeaters for this. It should be all right. We're definitely placing down more than we need. Okay, down to our last one. And we're good. We can place that one here. There we go. All right. So all of this is active now, which is perfect. That one's going to work. Perfect. This looks great. Okay. So now we need to turn this off. I'm actually just going to disable this because I don't want any, any accidents. And we can finish setting up exactly how this is going to explode. Actually, I think I'm going to need... Um, Redstone torch. Okay, so I've got the setup down, I think. When he clicks the button that he's gonna place here, that will activate the redstone that comes down from here, and then we'll activate the TNT. See? So obviously we need to remove this, this lever and cover this all up. Don't remember exactly how it was covered up. Now I'm gonna reconnect this in a bit because I don't want any accidental explosions, but we can, can now conceal the rest of it. Also place our TNT. Now we don't want to place any here. This all needs covering up like nothing happened. Now I guess we can have our first piece of TNT here. There we go. There's one. We're going to place another one there. Guess we'll put another one over here. Oh no. Oh no. I accidentally placed a redstone le torch instead of redstone. Um. Oh, don't worry, guys. We can save this. It's not the end of the world. Why are there redstone torches in my inventory? Okay. Most of it's still okay. We've just got to fix all of this. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> this is bad. Okay. I think I've got an idea. I think I've got an idea. I know how to fix this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up most of this. I, I have no idea if this is going to work. And then my excuse is going to be that I accidentally made a creeper blow up. Just hold, just bear with me a second. Now, uh, hopefully he'll see this and not suspect anything too weird. Hopefully. Meanwhile, the rest of this is secretly covered up. Like it never happened. Okay, we have to be a bit careful about this one because we had those there. We had slabs here. We had more slabs, I think. Oh yeah, slabs go here. Okay, and then place that there. Okay, so that'll cover up and then we'll put signs down here. Apologizing to Jelly. All right, there you go. Sorry about your HQ, a creeper blew up while I was snooping inside your tent. Now I know it's saying that it's me, but I'm hoping the fact that I said that it's going to throw him off and make him not think that the TNT is me. Because, like, you know, why would I let that stay there? It also kind of makes up for things looking a little bit different. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Now let's get some more TNT placed. So first of all, we'll place one in here. I'm a bit scared of placing it somewhere with buttons, but okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I do not trust this. I'm going to get rid of that button. I'll place the door down again. We'll put a couple of TNT in here because this will be a big explosion. And then just going to break this door because it's safest. And then place it back again. Hopefully it doesn't see that. And then the only other thing is we need to place that TNT downstairs as well. Um, how does he get down again? I forget. I guess we'll just go the other way that we remember over here. There we go. This doesn't fix anything. Okay, there you go. Yeah, this underground base is toast. Here's your bedroom. Dumb bedroom anyway. And then we just need to place like... A, a couple somewhere else. Place one here. I will place two there. That works. All right, there we go. That's all of the TNT placed. Now let's just get out of here and prepare this place. Most of the uh, broken ground is growing over now. Now I got to do the dangerous bit and connect it up down here. I'm very scared of this. Okay, that is now fully connected. So if he places a button, boom, it will go. Okay, that's that. And let's just cover this up. He, oh, no, he had a TNT here. Okay, hopefully he just forgets about that. It's not going to be perfect, but hopefully he doesn't remember exactly how he covered this thing up. Oh, you can see TNT over there. Um, how do I cover that? We cannot have him 
suspecting anything. I like that he made loads of gats where you can just jump in. What even happened here? And there we go. Our reverse <laughs> troll and jelly is complete. I'm scared of touching any levers now because I feel like it's something's going to go bad. Oh, how do I... Why does he make the weirdest doors? Anyway, that's where we're going to leave it today. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens when I log back on. Anyway, we're going to head back to our house. We really... You know what? I think I'm going to try and figure out somewhere to hide my diamonds off camera. Because obviously it is not working finding somewhere on camera. There's too many spies watching. As I said, if you want to see another episode and check out the devastation that happens at Jelly's house, click the like button. Because if we don't hit 100k likes, you'll never see it. Very sad. Also head over to slogo.com to grab the new merchandise. I'm super proud of it and I'm happy to bring back the OG slug t-shirt and hoodie. But if you want to watch another video right now, there are some videos on the screen. Go and tap those videos and it'll take you straight to the next one. Enjoy.